Hey guys, it's Vivian, your hot stock girl. Today I'm going to discuss Fitbit. The ticker symbol is FIT. Fitbit was founded in 2007 by James Park and Eric Friedman. Fitbit went public in June of 2015 at $20 per share and topped out at $51 per share in August of 2015. Fitbit had a great holiday season in 2015, but soon after, analysts were predicting slower growth. The stock currently trades between $4 and $5 per share. Now that Fitbit is down over 90% from its high, is it time to buy? Let's look at the financials. Sales peaked at $2.1 billion in 2016 and had been declining ever since. In the second quarter of this year, sales declined 15%, but average selling price went up slightly due to higher smartwatch sales. The best thing about Fitbit is that they have $580 million in cash and no long-term debt. This gives them the resources to turn the company around, but do they have the product to turn the company around? Fitbit is now selling a smartwatch called Fitbit Versa. Fitbit certainly announced Fitbit Care, which is a health and wellness platform. Fitbit Versa sells for about $200 and is competing against the Apple Watch 4, which sells for $400. The Versa is good as a health tracker and its battery lasts a lot longer than Apple's watch. But other than that, it can't compete. Fitbit's Versa also competes against smartwatches by Samsung, LG, uh, Garmin, and Fossil. Fitbit must cut operating expenses to get them better aligned with their current sales. Unfortunately, it's nearly impossible to grow sales when you're drastically cutting operating expenses. Apple's watches have been dropping in price, which will make it even harder for Fitbit to compete. Fitbit to compete. Shareholders might get lucky if Fitbit gets bought out, but I would avoid the stock. So there you have it, my thoughts on Fitbit. I'm Vivian, your hot stock girl, and please be sure to subscribe below and check out my other videos for more great investment ideas. Bye!